Welcome back, everybody. Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in this Twinkle Tips Friday video. It is Friday. That's right. Happy weekend to you all. Guys, we have a wonderful, wonderful comment from a Mr. Johan Bosch. Thank you so much for your comment. He he requested information on because he wasn't he wasn't sure on how to create singing face setups in his prop because the model that he downloaded, well, it didn't have it in it. So today I want to show you from the standpoint of, well, the bulb that's behind me. We're going to go through and, and light this guy up, and we're going to make him look the best that we can make him. So stay tuned. We'll get right to it. Welcome back, guys. Hey, if you like the videos that we're doing, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell for notifications. So one of the things that is frustrating about doing the singing face characters or any any Coro prop that needs these faces done is that the, the people who put the effort into building some of the faces sometimes, not all times, sometimes don't uh, build them the way that you might think that they should be built. If you're watching your character sing and it has the wrong lip movement, even though the lyric track is correct, the lip movement could be set up wrong in x Light, so it looks really terrible and it doesn't go with the music the way that you think it should go with it. So I want to show you and, and, and again, this is not to make fun of anybody, but I want to show you how to go into the Faces dialog box and check out the faces to see if they kind of match with what's already available in x Lights. Okay, so we'll go here, and we'll open up the dialog, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. This bulb is set up with these specific predetermined, pre-set-up characteristics. And when I first opened up and downloaded this model, and thank you to the person who did this because we appreciate it, um, some of the facial features, the, the letter AI, and we'll get more into this specifically, just don't look exactly the way that those letters might be actually articulated in real life. But we're going to go down through these one by one, and we're going to create a brand new uh, version of this so that it hopefully becomes a little bit more anatomically correct and is appealing to the end user and that you can put that detail into it to really make it a wow part of your show. All right, so to begin with, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the Add button. We're going to add a new face, and we'll call this New Bulby. Kind of cute. The basic way to start creating uh, something in the faces effect is to just start clicking and dragging on the on the selection screen here. Now you could the old way was to you could double click on the you could double click on this and you could uh, scroll all around here. You could scroll across the screen and you could individually select individual pixels. Uh, but they made it super easy. And it's so much easier to do it on this screen here. So if you've seen the old videos where people did that, it still works. But this is just so much easier to come in and select. Okay, so you, you notice that I just clicked and dragged and I was selecting those pixels, but you notice I got this extra one here I didn't want. So it's important to learn how to deselect uh, a pixel that you accidentally grabbed and you're, because you're going to be in here doing this a lot. So the goal is let's go ahead and just do a click and drag and hold the shift key down and that will erase it or deselect it from the, uh, from the um, individual selection over here. So we have a face outline. Now I've, I've only selected just the bulb. So that way we can illuminate the bulb with one color and we could do a second uh, outline with the base here. So we've got the, the face outline two selected. We could click and drag all of those. And again, I've grabbed some extra ones and we'll go ahead and deselect, shift and click and drag, deselects them. So now we have all of the non-bulb pixels, the, the socket pixels, selected. So now let's go through the individual face movements. And I'm I, one of the things that you can do is you can go look in the mirror, like I'm looking in the camera right now, and you can see my mouth. 
and whenever you say some of these vowel uh, vowel consonant uh, what what they're called phonemes if you say some of these individual phonemes what does the actual phoneme look like whenever you're about to pronounce it and that's what those little images over there and I did a little screen capture so I could zoom in and share this with you but the if you say these out loud and you look in a mirror and I'm looking at you right now you can see it in my mouth the AI mouth would be ah or I and so it's wide open it's a big mouth <laughs> imagine that and then you have the letter E the E mouth E okay so whenever you go with the letter E it's wider but it's not dropped down as as the ah like ah or E Notice the difference whenever you apply this basic thing to the faces tracks that whenever you're looking at them, you want to build that into your model. And so we've come up with over time the basics and I've, I've been following this for many years. And so this is whatever I'm creating um, these different faces and I am very much into creating the most anatomically correct mouth movements. I'm very particular about them personally. And if they match along mostly with what you see here, you're going to have a very wonderful, good-looking facial model whenever you're done. So with with this in mind, we'll start with the AI. I'm going to click and dra uh, uh, hold the mouse button down and move him up there. And there you can see him a little bit. I hope you can see this pretty good. The AI mouth is the largest mouth. That, to me, is the largest mouth. And we'll go ahead and we'll just start clicking away here. All right, there you go. There's the AI mouth. Now, the E mouth, as we said, it's more of a wider mouth, but it still goes out to the, the edge of the lines there. So maybe it's a little bit smaller, like the jaw, E. It's up closer together. It's more of a, I, I want to say, oval. And so what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. And we'll create the E in this manner. So is it like eh, stretched out? No, but it will still look good because it has that that slight separation between this lower jaw here and this upper uh, this middle jaw. So that that constitutes an E. Now the etc mouth I think is one of the most important mouth movements you could ever create, and it, it's you have to consider that etc. Just just saying E etc. It's it's like E. It's kind of like the E mouth, but it's also like a mid-lip movement between all of the open mouse and the closed mouse. So the nice thing is, is that whenever you have a closed mouth and then you have a, a, a little bit of a progression and then a bigger progression, you can see the animation. It's a little bit of a smoother transition. So the etc. mouth, in my opinion, looks something like this. And that kind of gives you that nice kind of, it's still small. It has somewhere to go from here. The FV mouth, when we select this, the FV mouth, if we look at this over here, I saw this years ago. Whenever you see the FV over here, you see like the teeth on the bottom lip. And I took that as, oh, look, he's biting his bottom lip whenever he says fa or va. But whenever I actually looked at myself in the mirror and I went fa, I thought of biting my lower lip or flicking my lower lip against the uh, bottom of my upper teeth. And when I thought about that for a little bit, I was like, hmm, what if he actually looked like he was flicking his lower lip against the bottom? And so this is what I came up with. I did this like in 2017. You see how this little half moon shape right here is kind of, you know, kind of locked in right there? Maybe we don't need him. Um, but that little half moon shape, that actually gives you the impression of, like, uh, the F or the V tone. And usually whenever you hear that in a song, that that um, the length of time you hear that isn't that long at all whatsoever. So we'll move on to the letter L. Whenever you say L, <laughs> it, again, it looks like a letter E. Ol, e, ol, you have you have a little bit of similarity, and this is where I like to use when there are four horizontal lip lines: the upper, the upper mid, the lower mid, and then you have the lower. When you have these four middle ones, just like the etc., I think the L is best served to be this. Again, when you hold, whenever you use the letter L in a sentence, or even when you're talking, the L 
all is it held very long and it's usually uh fa la 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 think of the fa la 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 a l a l it's that 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 kind of duck talk that I'm doing with my hand and it makes sense to have it as a smaller mid movement between two syllables and this is what's nice about kind of the setup for the letter mbp if we come over here when we think of the letter m mm, m mm, like you just oh it was so delicious m mm. you're not smiling m mm. So there is a difference between a rest mouth, and you can see the rest mouth down here. It looks like a smile, like he's pleasant, you know, but the mmm is a different uh, f uh, phoneme. So I want you to consider that if you're preparing to speak, you're doing this from a mid position, and that's where I come in and do something like this. So something like this there, uh, I, that's I think more of a, a, a of a smile, but not a harsh smile. It's more of a flat smile. So, but again, we, we're working the best we can with what we have as far as the pixels go. So your mileage may vary between different props. Now the letter O is very simple. It's the biggest O in the entire mouth. If we come over here and look at the big design here, the, the letter O is your widest open mouth in a circular form. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump down to the U and the WQ uh, because at the same time the O is the biggest letter. But as you get smaller with the mouth, there's a difference in change in the way whenever you say U, uh, you know, that W, W, would, or you uh, they're they're similar but one is smaller and that's according to what this is now again the differentiation is important because as you use different phonemes it shows the animation and that's what gives your characters prop the best the very best of looks so we'll start with the very large o mouth Okay, so now we've completed that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here, select this, control C on the keyboard, and I'm going to go down to the U, and I'm going to double click in there a second time, and I'm going to go control V and paste it. Now, why would I paste it? Well, because I already have my O defined, and to deselect, I hit shift and drag, shift, click, and drag, and now I can select the next smallest mouth movement available. So that's movement number two. So that gives me that animation from oh to uh, to you or you ooh. And if you if you take it another step further, we can select it, control C, select on the bottom one, select it again, control V. Now we have our WQ easily click, drag, shift and it deletes that off and we just click and drag and add these little guys in right there. Now not all faces are set up the same. They're just not. Some some designers don't put all the those little lines in there that make it easy for you to build it, but you have to be creative in how you do that. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy about the singing faces. So the the last thing that's left is the eyeballs. Now the eyeballs you can do eyeballs however you like. Um, in another video, I selected all of these here and made these into eyeballs, and then I removed these two little dots on the, each side, and I made these, like he's got little, his little center pupil is right there. I thought that was cute, and it does work. It works pretty well. But that's the eyes open movement there. And then here is another version of eyes, uh, eyes, and they're called eyes closed. And this is where you can have the blink. So it looks like he's blinking. And all you do here is you just click and drag on the horizontal line that goes through them. And now whenever it, it flicks back and forth, you can see blink, blink. And I think it's a really cool movement as well. So now that we have all of new ball be completed and ready to roll and he's done the only other thing we have to do is click OK do not ever hit cancel in this screen don't come up here to the top uh, left of the screen and, and hit the X if you do that you'll erase all of your hard work make sure you click the OK button and there you have it guys that is as easy as it is to get your face movements your lip movements built into X lights 
All right, guys, thank you for joining us for this video. I know it was a longer video, but it is packed full with all of the information that you need to know if you get a model that you download or if you're creating your own model from scratch that nobody has ever created. Now you can go in and create facial movements inside your Coro face models or any other models that have the faces effect applied to them, especially whenever it deals with the node count. So if you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember the bell for notifications so you never miss one of our PPD Twinkle Tip Friday videos or the new sequences we put out or the new webinars that are coming. And there's going to be more coming this weekend. I got lots of videos to render. Uh, by all means, put your suggestions for videos uh, in the comments below. But if you have questions and you want to jump in our Tuesday night gathering, it's become quite a wonderful and boisterous uh, uh, celebration of people and different points of view. So guys, if you appreciate the videos we're doing, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where we do one awesome sequence each and every month. And we actually have two planned for the next two or three or four months down the road. So uh, we're, we're, we're doing the best work that we can for you for programming for your show each and every month, new songs. And if you join the club, you get access to those as well as discounts and many other things. Thank you again for joining us today, folks. We will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. mouth if we come over here and look at the big design here you can see oh oh you know the very deep dive into uh understanding and doing the the facial character features <laughs> well I, I guess it was last week uh was from john bosch and uh, john his name is not john <laughs> his name is not john <sighs> okay